Hi, I'm Teresa Mason, and welcome to Steppin' Out Ballroom. If you've been wanting to learn to dance but didn't know how to get started, this DVD is a great choice. Or if you already dance and just want to add some groovy new moves to your repertoire, then this is the program for you. Many people feel that learning to dance requires talent and a great deal of time. And certainly, at the level of expertise that our demonstrating couples have achieved, that is certainly true. But at the social level, virtually anyone can learn to dance. And it's fun and easy. Gentlemen, women really do love men who ask them to dance. So gentlemen, we need to get you on the dance floor. Let's get started. There are many ways to learn to dance. You can start at any level and at any age. Classes are affordable and a great way to learn new steps and meet others that enjoy dancing. Practice is a must and there are lots of places in every city that provides beautiful dance facilities with parties just for that purpose. Private lessons with professional instructors are the fastest way to learn with the focus on you and your partner or just on you when you take by yourself. The instruction provided on the Steppin' Out series of DVDs will be an invaluable tool to help you practice correctly, learn to identify music, and get a visual image of what correct posture, correct turns, footwork, and dance position looks like. Dance position requires good posture and a toned frame and gives you and your partner the connection you need for rotation and balance. Here we demonstrate the proper way to get into dance position. The gentleman extends his left hand to the lady. She approaches, places her left hand on his shoulder, and then he connects with her at the elbow and then her upper back. When the dance is done, he turns her under the arm and to his side and walks her off the floor. Very gentlemanly. Notice both members of the team keep their arms up and forward to create the connection necessary for beautiful ballroom dancing. Promenade position requires the lady to turn her head to the right. Outside partner is used many times. When the gentleman dances forward, it's called forward outside partner, and he steps well clear of the lady's right side. Backwards outside partner, very usable in many types of turns. And here we have demonstrated left side position. And right side position. Gentlemen, ladies love to turn because it looks good. Even basic steps look great when you add rotation. There are many types of turns appropriate for ballroom dancing. But one thing to remember is they all turn either right or left. Here we see a demonstration of right and left turns. Here we go into our natural underarm turn and our reverse underarm turn. The natural turns are right and the reverse turns are left. Once again, natural underarm turn right into the reverse underarm turn. Now we see a demonstration of a reverse turn for the man, a reverse underarm turn for the lady. gentleman turn too and here's that gentleman's turn now we have an apart turn which both partners perform
Now here we have a half pivot turn. These half pivot turns turn to the right or natural turns. And now we're doing a full pivot turn. Also to the right. Now here are some advanced performances of a natural turn. And now our advanced reverse turn. Cross turns in Viennese waltz are considered some of the most difficult to master. And there's our advanced turn combo. I operate a dance studio in Houston, Texas called Dance Arts. And over the years of working with people just like you, I've developed a very simple method of teaching. With just seven points for the gentleman and three points for the lady, you will soon be out on that dance floor. Point number one is directional movement. The gentleman is responsible for giving a clear directional movement indication to the lady. Forward, back, to the left, or to the right. That's point number one. Point number two is that he has a consistent step size. In other words, every time he steps forward, back, side, and side, it should be the same size step per each dance. In other words, if it's a faster dance, you're going to make smaller steps. If it's a slower dance, you'll make bigger steps. But you always keep a consistent step size for each dance. Point number three is going to be rhythm and timing. Once you establish your basic rhythm, whether that's going to be quick, quick, slow, or one, two, three, four, five, six, or triple step, triple step, rock. You're responsible for keeping that same basic rhythm. You can change to a syncopation or a different type of rhythm, but you always go back to the same basic rhythm that you started with. So point number three is consistent timing or rhythm. Point number four is going to be rotation. Whether you're rotating to the left or to the right. The gentleman not only sets when you rotate, but how much. Point number five is consistent frame. Once you get in dance position, you're not going to be moving your right arm back and forward or down and up. And of course, your left arm is supposed to be thumb just about eye level. Your fingertips of your right hand are just above your center. And this would be a nice consistent frame. If I turn to the left, it stays the same. If I turn to the right, it stays the same. Point number six is relative to the other couples on the floor. If you have a couple in your way, you're responsible for a holding pattern. If there's a couple moving to your left, then you're going to turn to the right to get out of their way. If there's a couple coming directly at you, then you're going to move to the left in order to avoid collision course. Point number seven is relative to the room. You're responsible for knowing when you get too close to the wall. The gentleman's responsible to coming, for coming up with a great corner step. Corner steps can turn left and get out of the corner or right. So the points of leading for the gentleman, all seven of them put together, will create a great dancer. The lady's points of following are a little bit simpler than the man's. She has three points. The first one is offset. She's always going to be slightly offset to the gentleman's right, her left. In other words, when she sets up for dance position, she places her right foot between the gentleman's feet, so her left foot is always outside of the gentleman's right foot. Now you can see by this couple demonstrating right now that every time the gentleman turns, the lady 
automatically goes back to her offset position. This creates uh, a strong right-sided lead for the man. He's got the majority of her weight in his right side, makes it much, much easier to do the fancy moves and the more rotations for the more advanced um, steps that we do in our tape today. Her second point is equidistant. Now in the ballroom dances, very often you're in close position, but every time you go into an underarm turn or a side-by-side -side position, you go right back to the original position, as we will see demonstrated after this grapevine, and that's equidistant. Parallel is how the lady follows turns. Every time the gentleman sends a lady into the turn, she tries her very best to stay parallel. Because of some of the leads, it's impossible, but the very trying to get back to parallel is what creates the partnership. So the three points of following are offset, equidistant, and parallel. And now we've come to the ballroom syllabus. Waltz, tango, foxtrot, and Viennese waltz. Martin's going to demonstrate step number one in our waltz today. It's called turn combination, and it uses a combination of left and right turns. Now they're put together with a step we call close change. This step is great for moving around the dance floor, and at the end it has a cute little promenade movement that ends with your feet together. Let's see that again. The count goes a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, and six, two, three. One more time. Starting out forward left, and then back on the right. That completes the left turning portion. Now we do a close change to get the right foot free for the man. Step back into the promenade twinkle, and out to close. Now let's see that with ladies part. Thank you, Laura. And a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Here comes the pretty promenade on five and six, two, three. One more time. Ready? And one, two, three. Now Laura's dancing a natural opposite all the way through this. After the fourth measure, she steps forward into the twinkle and out into the twinkle closing. All right, now let's see that with music. I love the way this step moves around the floor. It seems effortless. And the twinkle at the end is just the icing on the cake. Thank you, Martin, and thank you, Laura. All right, step number two is called underarm turns, again left and right. Martin's gonna start with a left turning box with no rotation, then do a twinkle-like movement, and that's gonna be the reverse underarm. Okay, let's see that one more time. This one has a lot of rotation for the man, but the girl does the underarm turns. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, 
three and six, two, three. One more time, and notice how clearly Martin is showing the leads. That'll be very important when you actually do this with a partner. There goes the lady under the arm for the first time. And the second time occurs right there. Now I'm sure this will look a lot better with Laura, so let's just see that right now. Ready? And a one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three. Now I'm sure you can see a similarity in the way this step ends and the first step. They both have a twinkle ending. There goes Laura's first turn and now the second turn. The first turn turns to the right, the second one to the left for the lady. And one more time. This one makes great use of space if it's a crowded dance floor. Two, two, three and four, two, three. Underarm turns on two and four. All right, now let's see that to music. Thank you, Martin and Laura. Step number three is balance steps. We have three different types of balance steps today. One of them is forward and back. Then we do what we call fifth position balances, which is a rock step. Let's see that again. We're going to step forward and actually hold two beats, step back and hold two beats. But when we do the rocks, we use every beat of music. Okay, these steps can be used for crowd control or to get in and out of other steps. Very nice. The lady has a natural opposite. Let's see how that works. And the count is one, hold two, hold three, two, hold two, hold three, three, rock, step, and four, rock, step. One more time. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. All right, now let's see that to music. Martin's adding rotation now. That's great for a corner step. Very lovely. All right, now with music, we'll see Martin and Laura put it all together. All of our beautiful beginning level steps. There's the turn combination. Of course, with the proper practice and the proper styling, these steps look anything but basic. Now the balances give you a little break if the crowd is... Very lovely. Step number four is crossbody lead taken from the box step. This is an invaluable step for when you're on a crowded floor or even not. Very nice. Now let's see that again. We're going to start off with a box step with a little rotation, a box step with quite a bit more rotation, and finish up with a box step overall making a 180 degree turn to the left. And with timing, Ready, and one, two, three, two, two, 
three, three, two, three, and four, two, three. Now let's see that with Laura. Crossbody lead is used in several different dances. In the waltz, it's very graceful. Notice how Laura takes a step past the man, so it's not a true natural opposite. He's going to close his feet in the middle of the step. We'll see in just a moment. And one, two, three. Now when Martin closes his feet, Laura steps across, and then they resume. So for just one brief moment there, they're in promenade position. Now let's see that with music. Promenade right there, and then a quick turn back to closed position. All crossbody leads go through promenade position and create a lot more rotation than just a plain box or a plain basic in another dance. Step number five, crossbody lead to reverse underarm turn. Now reverse underarm turn is always going to go to the left for the lady. And every time we say underarm turn, the gentleman has rotation, which means he's actually turning his basic steps, but he does not have an actual turn. Here comes that reverse turn for the lady. Right back to the box. So the gentleman's footwork is not any different from the previous step number four. Let's see that one more time. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, and four, two, Three. Very lovely. Now let's let Laura demonstrate how beautiful this reverse underarm turn can be. And one, two, three, reverse underarm. Very nice box ending. I'd like to see that one more time. Ready? And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And now with music. Now the styling on this step is to use your upper body turn to the left previous to the turn. Notice how Laura goes into that turn with just a beautiful upper body lean. Step number six, chasse to the right with a twinkle in the middle and it's going to come out in a promenade chasse. So we have three elements all put together. I keep talking about twinkles. I want you to know that a twinkling movement is always starting in one dance position and ending in another. And every time we use a chasse, we change the timing. This is another one of those moving steps. One, two, and three. And now let's see that step with music. Chasse combination. Very lovely. Step number seven, triple twinkle. Starts off with a twinkle to promenade, and then a back twinkle, coming out once again in a forward twinkle. Let's see that again. Four measure pattern. We have one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, Three. Now we're going to add a little bit more rotation. The triple twinkle can stay in one spot or it can travel down the floor just a little bit more by the gentleman turning and going backwards on a different angle. See how Martin accomplishes that? For those crowded dance floors we need a lot of tools. Triple twinkle is a fabulous tool for just that. Now let's see that with Laura. Now we have a twinkle to promenade. Now the lady is going to turn back to face the man, but step outside partner. Now Martin and Laura are demonstrating the triple twinkle that stays in one place. And now the triple twinkle that travels just a little bit more. The traveling occurs because Martin rotates more. See how beautiful that looks? 
Very nice. Now let's try that to music. Very versatile step. And of course, the more rotation you have, the more advanced it looks. And now a little styling tip. Martin and Laura will show you how to do that. Lots of rotation, open footwork. Now let's see our styling tip to music. You've seen the triple twinkle with closed feet and open feet. Now we're going to add open hold. The feet are still closed, but the hold is open. Very nice. Now we're going to demonstrate that same step with open feet and open hold. Very lovely. And that's our styling tip for the waltz. Now let's see our intermediate level steps. Cross body lead. Cross body with reverse. And now our chasse combination. Step number eight, the gentleman's turn with twinkle ending. Martin's going to demonstrate the first three steps of a twinkle, and then he is going to turn to the right, step right back into a twinkle, and a twinkle ending. This is a very short four measure pattern that's used quite often as the intro to some more complicated steps. There's the gentleman's turn on measure two, back to promenade, and twinkle ending. Let's see that one more time. This uses straight time. No syncopations. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. All right, now let's see that with Laura. Start with regular twinkle and one, two, three, two. There's where Martin turns. Three, two, three, and four, two, three. We'll see that again from another angle. You notice we do have an open hold on measure two. And one, two, three, open hold. Very romantic look. And close the feet. Sometimes Martin has open footwork for his twinkle and sometimes closed. Both are correct. But of course the open footwork does travel quite a bit more like that. Anytime you do have open footwork on your twinkles, like that, you want to close the feet first. Now let's see that with music. This close your feet action is called brushing. The foot goes underneath the body and then comes right back out on time with the music. One more time, guys. One, two, brush, three. Three. Very nice. With a little practice, you'll soon be dancing just this beautifully. Step number nine is called open locks. Now it's going to come from that same gentleman's turn that we just learned with a little different hand hold. We're going to step behind, do an apart turn, and recover with this twinkle ending, feet apart, and feet closed at the very end. Now we're going to show this with maximum movement, which is open footwork until the very end. So we have the gentleman does an open foot, open foot twinkle. The gentleman's turn to a one hand hold this time, a locking step, and a part turn, back to a twinkle with open footwork, and a twinkle ending with closed feet. Now let's see that with Laura. This is not necessarily a natural opposite. And twinkle to promenade. The gentleman's going to only keep a one hand hold. So they are in a one hand hold position, a part position for the turn, and back to promenade dance hold at the end. 
Let's see that again. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three. Fabulous. Now let's see that with music. The beautiful step called Open Locks. Step number 10 is our open right turn combination. Martin starts with a twinkle, does an open right turn, and a back chasse. He's going to repeat that after performing a box step to keep it in the ballroom floor here. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, and three. Very nice. Now this step actually can be repeated on a large ballroom floor, but on a small floor you're going to just do it three measures at a time like Martin's demonstrating it today. Three, two, two, three, three, two, and three. And then right back into a box. Very nice. Now let's see that with Laura. Starting again with the twinkle to promenade, we go one, two, three, two, two. Notice the ladies outside here. She does her chasse, and then Martin dances right back into a box after going outside partner to the lady's left side. So we dance twinkle, open right turn, the gentleman moves backwards, lady steps outside into the chasse, and then notice Martin is on what some of us call silly side. All right, let's see that with music. Just say step. That's syncopated. Very nice. And now we're going to show the styling tip with music. Martin's going to demonstrate how you take this element from the chasse right here, right back into promenade so that we're repeating it and we're adding it that beautiful turn. One more time, the lady turns to the right. This is truly one of my favorite steps. And now our advanced series of steps in the waltz, the triple twinkle using the closed footwork. Gentleman's turn, comes out of a twinkle. And now the gentleman's turn where we go to open hold. Now the open right combo, coming outside partner but back into the box. Beautiful advanced waltz. And now let's see our styling tips. Triple twinkle. And we're going to keep the feet closed, but do the open hold. And then we're going to show it again with the feet apart. That's called continuity styling and is quite popular with all the advanced 
waltz dancers. Now the open right turn with chasse and underarm turn for the lady. And that's our advanced waltz. Step number one in the tango is going to be the basic step. Martin's going to dance three steps forward and one to the side, and you'll notice he drags his feet, but they don't quite close, and then he just starts right again. And the rhythm goes slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And now with Laura. The lady has a natural opposite, and slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Again, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. The closing of the feet at the very end, this tango close action, is what makes tango unique. And now with music. Fabulous. Step number two is still our basic step, but Martin's going to demonstrate how you curve it and give it that unique flavor. Now this is what tango should really look like, although everyone starts learning tango straightforward as in basic number one. Lovely. Now let's see that with Laura. You'll notice when Laura gets into dance position that she's going to show a little bit different arm hold on her left side or the gentleman's right side. Here's a really good shot of it there. She holds underneath. That gives the gentleman a little bit more of a right side lead. Very nice. Now let's see that with music. Very nice tango. Step number three, our right turning promenade. Martin dances two steps in promenade, does a right turn, and comes out with a tango ending. Again, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Very good. One more time. You can see how he starts facing one wall and ends facing another. So this is a very usable step. And now with Laura. As we said, both partners start in promenade, do an almost pivot. Later on, we'll be showing a real pivot. And again, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And with music. The bending of the knees that they just demonstrated is quite indicative of this dance. 
Also the straight hold and the sharper head movements from the lady. And now, let's see our beginner steps to music. Step number four is our left turn, or our reverse turn, that goes outside partner and then closes the feet at the end. It has a rhythm change, which makes it unique. We start quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. That still phrases to eight beats. And one, two, three, hold four, five, six, seven, hold eight. One more time. This step always starts towards the center of the room and ends up towards the wall. And now with Laura. And quick, quick, slow, lady outside there. Very nice. Now this step doesn't really repeat. We'd have to do another basic in between, but for our purposes today, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Very nice. Now let's see that to music. Beautiful. Left turn with outside partner. Step number five is called the leg catch. Now it has another change of rhythm comes out with the feet together, and then goes into a tango promenade, this time turning left for the gentleman. Now with rhythm, we have slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And now let's see that with Laura, because without Laura, there won't be a leg catch. That's the lady's part. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Now the lady turns in front of the man to complete this promenade movement. The leg catch is quite an Argentine tango type of flare movement. Very nice. Now let's see this to music. The right pivot turn with quick ending. Now this one has a great presence on the floor. It moves a lot. With timing, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, 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 slow. Very nice. One more time. Starting in promenade. We're going to commence as if we were doing the right turn promenade, but with more rotation. Then do the left turn promenade, but with an extra quick quick at the end. That serves two purposes. One, it phrases it to the music. And second, it gives it a very stylish look. And now with Laura, starting in promenade, we go slow, slow, pivot turn, slow, slow. She turns and quick, 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 slow. One more time. See how much this can move. Very, very nice. And now with music.
right pivot turn with quick ending. Now let's see our intermediate steps, putting it all together. Step number seven, we have a corte and fan combination. It starts with a rock turn, a beautiful corte line, and then the gentleman puts the lady outside partner for a puerta fan. Very nice. Let's try that again with timing. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow, and tango close ending. Very, very nice. And now with Laura. There's many ways for Laura to do this fan. She's going to choose one of her favorites. And quick, quick corte is a lovely dramatic line. And then the outside swivel fan. Ah, with a kick swivel at the end. Very nice. Let's see that again. Quick, quick, slow. That one line is probably the line that says tango more than any other line. And notice Laura did a different type of puerta fan this time many different styling choices. And now with music. Corte and band combo. Step number eight, it's called the throw out. The lady and gentleman go into a side by side position, have a moment, a little drama, and a tango close ending. Let's see that one more time. And as good as Martin looks doing this, it looks even better with Laura. Slow, quick, quick, and slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now let's add the lady from promenade and slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And promenade into open position, swivel through, right back to a promenade ending. Very nice, and now with music. And that's our throw out. Step number nine is one of Martin's favorite steps. It's called the back ocho. It starts with an open turn, three slows where the lady's doing something fabulous, a very quick check break, and then a series of rocks ending in a tango close that's even twice as slow for more drama. Let's see that again. And quick, quick, slow, quick, Quick, slow, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, 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 slow and slow. Very nice. Now we better see that gentleman's part one more time. And quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, 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 slow, slow. And now with Laura. Now they make this one look easy, but in reality it's not that easy. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Now here's the back swivels that give this a signature piece. Quick across break, four rock turn, and two slows for the tango ending. Again. 
ready and open reverse turn into back swivels Laura does this three times there's a quick check break through the gentleman's leg and a long slow ending very nice let's see that with music Back Ocho. And step number 10, our telemark to oversway. We start with two steps in promenade, a telemark turn, a nice oversway, lunge to the right, a lot of turn into a back tango close. Now that lot of turn can also be called a bit of a slip pivot. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Here's our oversway, right lunge, Wind up, slip pivot to a back tango close. Let's count that for rhythm. Ready, and slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, 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 and quick, quick, slow. And now with Laura. Now, the bit of the slip pivot actually have a, has a slip pivot feeling, but it isn't a full slip pivot. Telemark turn, the lady puts her feet together and uses a lot of head styling to accent that rotation. Let's see that again. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 and quick, quick, slow. Laura is accenting the move with her upper body, head turns to the right and left, and a beautifully pointed toe. Ready, and slow slow quick quick slow 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 and quick quick slow and now to music And that's our Telemark to Oversway. And now our advanced tango movements.
Step number one in our foxtrot today is called the reverse turn. Now previously we've seen a reverse turn in the waltz and in the tango. The one in foxtrot is counted slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, and gives a nice alternative to going into the center of the room as opposed to always dancing on the perimeter of the room. Now let's see that with Laura. This is a natural opposite for the lady and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Very nice. And now let's see that to music. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody And step number two is our promenade position. We're going to dance two slows and a side together. Again, step and promenade slow, slow, and side close. And now with the lady. Very basic step and yet so very usable. Notice every time we go into promenade, as opposed to tango, it's a very soft feeling almost a lilting feeling. And now let's see that with music. And now for step number three, our outside partner basic. We're going to dance outside partner going forward, close our feet, and dance a closed basic backwards. Now let's see that again. Of course, whenever we say outside partner, we're talking about the lady, but Martin's demonstrating a little bit more upper body turn that indicates to the lady that she'll be doing an outside partner position. Now let's see exactly what that does look like. And slow, notice Martin's right foot passes well clear of the lady's feet and hips. See that from a different angle? And slow, slow, quick, quick, and a back basic, just regular position or closed hold. And now with music. To be And now let's put it all together, our beginning steps in Foxtrot. Step number four is our right turn. Martin's going to dance an outside partner, basic forward. The right turn is back and forward, and a side close. And then we have a regular back ba basic. Let's see that again from a different angle. And slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, and quick, quick. This to me is the ultimate corner step. And the amount of turn can vary on the right turn itself. That's probably maximum amount right there that Martin just demonstrated. But this step is surprisingly easy to lead. From the outside partner position, the gentleman gets a little bit of head start on that turn, leads the lady to step forward to him, 
and then the bag basic out it just kind of balances everything out now let's see that to music Step number five is our reverse underarm turn for the lady, and it comes from Promenade. As soon as we finish this turn, the gentleman's going to dance directly into an outside basic and then a back basic. Let's see that again from a different angle. Ready, and slow, slow. You'll remember the reverse underarm is a left turn for the lady. And the back basic. Okay, and now with ladies part. Starting in promenade, the lady gets the lead on the second step, and then he passes into outside position in order to give her a little room to recover from this turn. This is quite an unusual step, dance socially, because most of the ladies don't know how to turn to the left. Very nice. And now let's see that to music. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around, finally found somebody who could make me feel true. Step number six is our checked twinkle. The gentleman's going to dance a promenade, a twinkle, and then a little checking action. Then we have a twinkle ending. Let's see that again. This is a fabulous step, dance socially. Very, very sophisticated. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick. Any of you gentlemen learning this step will be dancing just like the pros. Here we go. Slow, quick, quick, check, quick, quick, twinkle ending, to promenade, and out. And now with the lady. Ready, and slow, quick, quick, slow. Lady goes into one hand hold and comes right back out into the ending. Let's see that with music. Some others I've seen Might never be me Might never be cross To try to be false But they wouldn't do Cause nobody else Gives me a thrill With all your faults I love you still It had to be you Wonderful Step number seven is our grapevine. We're going to dance the promenade twinkle to the check, and then we're going to dance a four quick little grapevine, and then our twinkle ending. Now let's do that again for the rhythm. Ready, and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, 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 slow, quick, quick, and out again with a slow quick quick. Now let's see that with Laura. Technically this cannot be called a natural opposite but in reality it dances like one. And slow. Quick quick slow. Quick quick one two three four slow. Quick quick slow. Quick quick. And now let's see that with music.
Now let's see those intermediate steps in Foxtrot put all together. Step number eight has the inelegant name of flip-flops. We start with a twinkle. The girl dances across the gentleman. The girl dances across the gentleman again. The gentleman dances a beautiful turn. And then the lady finishes with one more turn. Now this step is one of the most beautiful ones and is quite common all across the country. And slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow quick, quick, and slow, quick, quick. And now with Laura. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Here's our first flip-flop, our second flip-flop, and then the gentleman's flip-flop. And now let's see that with music. Step number nine is our weave from promenade position. We're going to show it with a twinkle to a promenade step and then a four quick weave ending with our feet closed. Let's see that again for timing. Ready and slow, quick, quick, slow. And quick, two, three, four, five, six. Very nice. Now let's see that one more time from a different angle. There's quite a lot of turn between this promenade position here and this next reverse angle turn. The girl helps a lot. Let's see that. After she steps in promenade on step four, we'll see that right now. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. She's going to turn quite a bit to her left and help the gentleman around that turn. Let's see that again. Ready? And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, 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 quick. Lovely. Let's see that with music. Might never be cross, try to be false, but they wouldn't do. Cause nobody else gives me a thrill. With all your faults, I love you still. It had to be Step number 10 is the weave from promenade again, but we're going to change the timing to make it a little bit more advanced, and we're going to change the styling to make it look fabulous. Now let's see that one more time and I'll count it. Ready? And twinkle slow. Quick, quick, slow. Now syncopate quick and quick at a slow and a quick, quick ending. This is really a fabulous step. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick and quick, slow, quick, quick. And now with Miss Laura. Notice Laura's going to accent her upper body quite a bit this time. And now with music.
And now our Foxtrot Advanced Steps. All right, step number one of our Viennese waltz is called balance steps. We're going to go forward balance and back balance. Forward and hold and back and hold. And this can rotate slightly and forward with a little rotation. Of course, the rotation will always turn counterclockwise or to the left. And now with a partner. And the count goes. One hold, two hold, three, one hold, two hold, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now with music. And this is probably the best choice of corner step to very fast music and a very crowded floor. Step number two is your left turn. Martin will demonstrate a closing of the feet action and a left turn. Let's see that again. Now this goes very, very fast and each measure of one, two, three and four, five, six is nearly a full 180 degree rotation. Now Martin has the advanced footwork which is a cross in the front but every time he steps back is going to be a close. Now let's see that with Laura. This is a natural opposite in that when Martin steps forward and crosses, she goes together and vice versa. Very nice. And now let's see that with music. Very nice. Step number three is your forward and back combo using the point styling that's so common in V.E. Swaltz. Forward cross turn, then we're going to point back, point step back, and the second half of the left cross turn. Now we have our forward points, ending with a left rotating box. Let's see that again. And one, two, three, back point, back point, and back half of the box. Forward point, forward point, forward rotational box, and back. And you'll notice Martin just then demonstrated a box step closing the feet because it had less rotation. And now with Miss Laura. Notice after each point there will be an outside partner there and there. And once again there and there. This is a basic step but looks anything but on the dance floor especially at this speed. And now with music.
Very nice. And now let's put it all together, our beginning Viennese waltz. Step number four is our fifth position breaks to reverse turn. Now you'll remember in the slow waltz we did fifth positions. In the Viennese waltz they serve a little bit different purpose. They're actually used as a wind up to get the lady to change directions. Here we go. We have one, two, three, two, two, three, reverse, two, three, reverse, two, three. And now with the lady. Of course, not all Viennese waltzes are quite this fast, but traditionally, they are. Nice turn to reverse. Very nice. Let's see that one more time from a different angle. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. And to music. Step number five is a crossbody lead. And you remember we've done our crossbody lead in waltz and in tango. This one goes faster and needs a recovery. Let's see that again. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold eleven, hold twelve. One more time. Ready? One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Very nice. And now with Laura. The lady has a natural opposite, except as you remember in the crossbody lead, she steps through when the gentleman closes. One more time. That end position is just beautiful. Reverse turn, crossbody lead. Reverse underarm turn, and this is called an open break. The lady takes an extra rock, and the gentleman just hits a beautiful line. And now with music. Very nice. Step number six is our right turns. Now this starts with a change step and then goes into the right turn and the back half of the right turn and ends with another change step. You'll remember in slow waltz we had the turn combination. This is the faster version of the right side of that. Now this actually can be an easier step than it looks at first because you're going with the flow of the room. Laura will help Martin demonstrate that. Notice we go towards the wall or diagonal to the wall and as we turn we come out around the corner. Very nice. Let's see that one more time. Ready? And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. And with music. Very nice. Now let's see the right turns with music. Of course, now once you get started in these right turns, it's hard to stop, but we'll be demonstrating that in just a moment. Thank you, Martin and Laura.
Step number seven is called our change steps. Now you might wonder what we're changing and it's direction. And we're changing direction at a very high rate of speed in Viennese waltz. So whenever you hit one of these change steps, you're either going from left turning movements to right turning movements, and this is your segue, or the opposite, right to left. Let's see that with Laura. Ready? And one, two, three, two, two, three. And notice the beautiful sway that they're adding to their upper body. And now with music. And now our intermediate Viennese waltz, putting it all together. Step number eight is our in and out turns. Martin's going to dance in a straight line forward, but turning to face the lady front and back. Let's see that again. We're going to start with the box step. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, and quickly go through promenade back to close position. And now with the lady. And notice Martin brings his left arm through to create the first line and right back to regular hold. Very nice. And now with music. Very nice. Step number nine is our parallel position. It starts with a crossbody lead with reverse underarm. Then we're going to turn the lady inside and back out. Now this one goes the speed of light to this music, but Laura's going to make it look easy. Let's see that one more time. And left turn, and now the lady's reverse underarm. Now the lady and the man are going the same direction, but still on opposite feet. Let's see that with our lady. Starting with the left turn, we have one, two, three, two, two, three. Martin catches her hand, turns her in both directions, and ends with a left turning movement. One more time. We have left, two, three, turn, two, three, run, two, three, and recover. So that's three turns, one left, one right, and then another one left, pretty much in under one second. And with music. And step number 10 is our change of places. Martin starts with the left turn, crossbody lead, underarm turn, and then we're opening up in what's called an explosion line. Very nice. Now here comes the actual change of places. Both partners do a turn. We do another explosion. Both partners turn. And then we recover. The nice point step and out. Now let's see that with Laura. There's a lot of timing changes in here. Some of it actually called canter rhythm, which means you step on the one and the three. This is straight time. Laura turns under the arm and they explode back together and away. Now here's the canter rhythm. Very nice. Explode and again they step one and three. Very nice. Out and back to a left turning movement. Now let's just see that one more time. Ready? And one, two, three, two, two, 
three, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, hold, six, hold, out, seven, two, three, eight, two. Fabulous. And now with music. And now our advanced steps, putting it all together. Congratulations, you've completed Steppin' Out Ballroom. You've learned how to get in dance position. Some of the most popular partner positions. How to turn right and how to turn left. How to lead or how to follow. You have some fabulous new steps, techniques, variations in styling. And the final bit of polish is added with a proper finish to the dance. When you exit the floor with style and grace. With all the style, technique, and beautiful movements you've learned on this program, you should be ready to go out dancing. All it takes is a little practice and, of course, the right partner. See you on the dance floor.